That had to hurt. Hello everyone, Blazarge here, coming at you guys with another Armor 3 Custom Battles video. So today we're doing something a little more classic in the terms of the Warhammer 40k universe. We're going to have the Imperial Guard going up against the Invading Orcs. And of course, once again, we're going to be using this glorious map. I'm really, really liking this map and expect to see a lot more of the Warhammer 40k in uh, future Armor 3 Custom Battles videos. So let's break it down. We'll show you guys what... Uh, each side has and then once we're done we're gonna play it out playing the first round as the Imperial Guard and then the second round we'll play as the Orcs so let's break it down shall we all right here we go so over here for the Imperial Guard on the front line we have multiple in place uh, in placement turrets uh, it's just gonna be a slugfest I mean it really is so over here we have an AT launcher a couple of mortars heavy bolter a las gun and that's pretty much about it with a couple of APCs right here ready for support. And then we have a couple of Guardsmen squads right here. They're going to be going up uh, to about these positions and helping hold the ground as best they can. And then back here for support or reinforcements, I should say, that are going to be coming in to back us up. We have two, three squads of five. This squad right here is going to move up here. And pretty much hold this ground. This squad is going to do the same thing, but uh, where did they go again? Uh, yeah, they're going to be going right here, and they're going to hold this side down. And then back here. Of course, since we are playing against the Orcs and we're keeping it classic, we are bringing in Lehman Russ. Oh, yeah. So the first Lehman Russ that's going to be coming in to back us up because we are fighting against Orcs, you can imagine they would bring this to bear, and that is the Gatlin variant of the Lehman Russ or the Lehman Russ Punisher. Oh, this thing's going to be really fun getting into the fight. I really wish because... Um, I had a friend that actually built the Imperial Guard, and he wouldn't even use the last gun up front. He would have Heavy Bolter, Heavy Bolter, Flamethrower, or Heavy Bolter up front um, in the tabletop. So I would love, if this is supposed to be anti-infantry, you know, have this maybe a Flamethrower right here or another Heavy Bolter because this is designed to go against infantry. And then back here, as well as the other three Limerus. So we have four of these. These are the main battle cannon ones. Uh, they're going to be coming up. All these are going to go to the front line. So these ones right here are going to come up on this side, hold this ground. This one is going to come up in the middle and help support here, as well as these two. They're going to come up here and try to hold this ground because the orcs are bringing a bit of a surprise. I'll get to that in just a moment. For, uh, from the Imperial Navy back here, we have these guys. I'm going to have them go out and around and come around. I had to do a little bit of timing so they come in at the right moment. You'll know what I mean here in a little bit. So these guys, they are the rocket variant. They are going to be helping us subdue this orc invasion. Yes, yes. Or die trying. So anyways, they're going to come out and come right here and just pretty much lay down as much firepower as they can. Now for the orcs. Oh, yes. A lot of you guys are jumping up and down. Now, you might be wondering, there's not as many infantry as you thought there would be. Trust me, it will make sense here in just a minute. So, these four squads right here are Ard Boys. I believe. I hope I'm saying that right. They're going to be coming pretty much straight at us, coming right through here and coming head on. We have two squads of the uh, Tank Busta Boys. And I almost think of them as mini mortar teams or artillery. That's kind of how the orcs use them. They just start spraying rockets and hopefully doing as much damage as they could. So they're very, very terrifying. And then back here, we have two anti-air turrets that are going to try to give these guys a bit of a pain and a hard day. Which should also look really cool with this environment. Trust me, you know what I mean, in just a minute. And then last but not least, we do have the uh, Stompa for the orcs. This thing is going to cause us the most amount of pain. That's the reason why the Lehman Rust are here because if this wasn't here, the Lehman Rust wouldn't even care because the whole planet's under attack and it's just, you could just imagine there's like a whole horde of orcs all over there and just, it's so much going on. We're on the farthest left flank or the right flank, whichever one you want to go with. So, yeah, we got to hold. So the objectives. For, actually, before I go to that, so what this stomp is going to do is pretty much come right in our face and try to get into the city. Yeah. <laughs> if it breaks through, all is lost. They'll get behind our lines and wreak havoc because one stompa is terrifying. All right. So the objectives for this, for the um, uh, for the orcs to win, they pretty much got to wipe us out, punch through, and get into this city. If they do that, we lose. For the Imperial Guard to win... 
they pretty much just got to hold these guys out and at least kill the Stompa. The Stomper dies, we're in a good spot. We, you know, yes, we'd have to deal with the horde of orcs, but our objective is to kill this thing and not die. Oh, goody. All right, so I will be playing as an Imperial Guardsman for this side. When I switch over to play as the orcs, I will probably play as a shooter or a um knob i don't quite know yet we'll see what happens all right i'm gonna put a cut right here folks i'll be right back once we're in the combat zone don't go there folks i'll be right back all right let's go everybody go 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 get your positions here they come Damn, what the hell was that? Looks like the Air Force has arrived. Got eyes on that orc stomper. Come on, open up tanks. Come on, open up, everybody. Open up, open up. That the orc stomper has been taken out. Alright, we've got to take out the rest of these orcs. All right, let them have it, guys.
Come on, come on. Need more ammo. I need more ammo. I'm running low on ammo. This gun just out of action, or is it still working? It's out of action. Buddy, I need these more than you. So many orcs. Are you finally opening up, dude? Unload on these guys. Die already. Yeah. Keep, keep pouring it on him. What the hell happened to this guy? It's over again. Oh my god. That's just weird. I think that's a victory. There's only like one or two more orcs out there. Hold still. Reload, 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 reload. Well, I think that's going to be a victory for the guardsmen. Now let's switch on over to the orcs and see what happens. All right, here we go. We are now playing as the orcs. Now, I want to apologize for that creepy sky effect that happened towards the end uh, in the last round playing as the guard. Um, that actually has to do with the overcast and certain times during the day and lighting. It does happen sometimes on this map. It's the mod. I do apologize. There's nothing I can do about it. But you got to admit, it looked pretty damn creepy. It looked like Armageddon. It was just it was just flat out creepy. Now we are playing as the orcs. Once again, I'm playing as the orc tank buster. Gonna lay down some um, close range artillery down on the Humies and see what kind of damage we can do. Oh, 
Hopefully they don't die by a lot of stupid orc friendly fire. Might as well fire from the hip. Reload, reload. Whoa, crap, reload. Jeez. Ow. All right, I'm going to give that a second round. I'll be right back just a second. All right, so I did die a little too quickly on that. I wanted to give uh, playing as it works a bit of a fair chance. Um, but that was really cool how it blew up the Valkyrie out of the sky. Hopefully that happens again. All right, let's quickly rush up there. And hopefully the orc AI doesn't kill themselves. I think that's what happened. A few of them accidentally shot the ground and killed themselves. Oops. Hey, get out of the way. God, I hear my friend's voice everywhere. It's so creepy. See, they're shitting themselves. See? Woo, shit. Here come their fly boys. fire. Can't see anything. No wonder orcs just spray all over the place. They can't see anything. Didn't do a squat, but I got him. Need more ammo. Need more ammo. God, I'm trying to sound like an orc now. No, I gotta stop playing as orcs. Ugh. But I definitely need more ammo. <laughs> There's got to be some dead guys around here. Bailey, that's all I get. Let's 
Like suddenly everything stopped firing. Trying to take out that tank. Bullets. More ammo, more ammo, more ammo. Plenty of dead horns around. I can just pick as much as I need. Alright, let's charge! Shooting at me now. Well, that's going to be in this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any comments, suggestions, or feedback about this episode, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you guys want to see your idea in a future Armor 3 custom battles video, or if you want to see a lot more of the Warhammer 40k universe stuff like this, also let me know in the uh, comment section down below. Till next time, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care, guys, and remember, have an awesome day.